Meantime, health officials asking people who have tested positive for coronavirus to stay at home and away from others actually who have just tested while they wait for the results here. NBC4's Patrick Hila joins us live. Patrick, you spoke with some folks who recovered from this to learn more about their experiences. Well, indeed, and the conclusion from that, Colleen, is that, that there is a broad spectrum of different symptoms. Now, there are some similarities, but there are also a lot of differences on onset time. And that raises a big question for so many people. I mean, this is cold and flu season still. We're on the cusp of allergy season. People have symptoms. Is it COVID-19? Well, that's why there's a diagnostic test, but it's tested only a tiny fraction of those individuals so far who have symptoms. So we spoke this afternoon with the chief medical officer for Dignity Health about what to look for. With COVID-19, the classic presentation is fever. 90% of the patients have fever. And then um, lower respiratory symptoms, cough, and shortness of breath. But if you look at the patients that we've seen here in the United States, as well as in China, where we have the biggest population, a lot of those patients also had runny nose, itchy eyes, and sore throats. Now, that can very much also sound like allergies. So right now, everybody's just trying to figure out, do I have a common cold, do I have allergies? Or now in the back of their head, they're thinking, do I have COVID-19? The Dignity Health System this week launched what it calls virtual urgent care, telemedicine for patient provider consultations to determine if coming to a doctor's office or hospital is needed. I think putting out a virtual urgent care is critical for us to be able to get ahead of this disease. And the reason for that is because not only do we need to take care of the individual patient who has symptoms and is scared, but we all know that 80 to 90 percent of those patients are never going to need any further care. This afternoon, Public Health reported another 128 cases, including seven deaths, raising the total to 11. And she urged those who have been tested to isolate immediately and not wait for results. If you needed to be tested, it's because there was a good chance you could be positive. And if there's a good chance you could be positive, you need to be isolating yourself at home and really keeping away from all other people. Allow me to fix a, a slip of the tongue. There were seven deaths in L.A. County prior to the latest report. Long Beach has added one. L.A. County Public Health has added three, including that under 18-year-old in the Antelope Valley, raising the L.A. County total now to 18. A total of 119 have been hospitalized, but not all of those are still in the hospital. Some have recovered and been able to go home. Reporting live, Patrick Healy, NBC4 News. Back to you. Patrick, thank you for that. Now,